In this video, we're staying in the cheapest room at Encore at the Wynn, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are covering the Encore at Wynn Las Vegas. We're gonna stay at the lowest rate that I found online on a Sunday night. We're here on April 21st, 2024. Give you a room tour, probably eat over at one of the restaurants and just show you the grounds of the Encore property. We're gonna try to stay as much as we can away from Wynn, even though the Wynn is connected. Check out my video from last year with my cousin EJ, link down below. But let's go inside the Encore and check out what's going on everything is nice here look at the decorations you got the nice butterfly tiling here right now until may 31st win rewards is doing tier matching with other casinos and since i have diamond at caesars they're gonna match that and get me diamond here which is their second tier and you get all these cool benefits i'll explain it to you guys later on in the video right next to the poker room is wazuzu sushi and noodles and this is their poker room right next to encore beach club is casa playa it's a coastal mexican spot and look at these orange carnations here leading up to one of those idols those idols you see in a Mexican temple the Encore property isn't as big as the Wynn is but there still are a lot of luxurious spots around here and still a lot to see this area right here is a high limit area and they even have a sidebar a little quieter a really nice decoration check out these beautiful peacock displays here with the feathers and the tails being lit on each side of the high limit entrance if you want to check out Sinatra there are some amazing food in here. Had a great time with Gene and Kyle and my cousin EJ over here on the win video. Shout out to them for inviting me. And it's not open yet, but they open at 5.30 and they have a lot of antipasti and seafood and meats. It's a really great spot. Right next to Sinatra's is the Tower Suites entrance. And then if you're looking for your casino host, the casino host is over this way through these pillars. This is the, the Encore Race and Sports Book. They have red chairs and smaller screens, but it gets the job done. If you want a bigger sports book, you're gonna wanna walk over to the Wynn, which is about five minute walk. Over on this side is the East Side Lounge overlooking the Encore pool. They have dueling pianos here and a nice bar on this side and a nice bar on the other side. This area is Encore registration. They actually have Express, which nobody's using. Everyone's in line checking in and checking out. I guess they wanna get their upgrades and talk to somebody in person. Right across from registration is this place called Espresso. It's their cafe and right out those doors are your Lyft and Uber pickup and taxi. It looks like they have some pizzas and flatbreads over here and La Colombe coffee. Nestled on this side of the Encore is the self-parking garage. So there's a separate Encore self-parking garage and the east side is in the far east. It's dug deep in the end. Now you start entering the meeting rooms over here. Right out here is the pool and the pool hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You got to present your room key. And they also have a couple of chairs here you can hang out, drink some coffee if you bought some from the cafe. A lot of people taking pictures with this butterfly display and all the different types of reds here in the entryway. So this is your main drop off of Encore. This is where you want to set your Uber Lyft so you, you got some mean looking food dogs over here. And wow, people do put money and coins in there just like in the Philippines. It's funny because there's a taxi stand line here and it gets pretty cracking. But if you go across the way in that overhang, the tower suites, they have another taxi stand that nobody lines up at. You're going to want to get your taxi from there. If you're looking for the bell desk to drop off your bags, it's right over here in the entryway of drop off and pickup. I love that gold tree with red lamps on top here in the center of the lobby bar. Lobby bar is always cracking. We're gonna have to grab a drink here a little later and they even have lounge seating here and another tree. Pretty cool spot. If you're looking for concierge it's over this way right next to the elevator entrance and the sundries their convenience store and you can get encore stuff up here. They have Travis Matthew wind hats over here and a ton of cool wind gear especially if you're out here playing golf like Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon are doing right now you're gonna want to be all swagged out and they even have an Encore Dad hat and Encore Beach Club if you want to have that party hat and then excess is the other club that's right next to Jardine where we're gonna eat lunch so we are at the rewards kiosk now and I have been upgraded to platinum didn't take that long. Awesome. Just recently, the wind started charging for parking, unfortunately. If you guys want to take a shortcut to the Wynn Plaza shops, just cross the street here, and the OVO store is right behind this. Through these doors that don't work, boom. And there it is, the Win OVO store. This is where I got my Philippines OVO shirt and hoodie and my Chiefs t-shirt. I love this place. 
It looks like right now they have college hats. They even have some OVO fitteds right now. That looks sick. Look at these shirts. You even got the Filipino. This would be sick. Got the Super Bowl logo on it. Then you got the Letterman jacket too. The Wind Plaza shops are technically not an encore, but I always got to make a trip to OVO. So <laughs> let's head back over to the encore. This is the side entrance to Encore and you will pass by the entrance of Encore Beach Club which operates during the weekend and now that it's April they're on and popping they're ready to go and you got the butterfly sculpture here with the Encore in the back that right there is the entrance to Encore Beach Club Encore Beach Club has the likes of Marshmallow, David Guetta and Chainsmokers here on the weekends as well it's probably my favorite day pool in all of Vegas I haven't tried the, out the new ones yet but Encore Beach Club has been amazing for years I love it make sure you look up and down when you're walking around here because the scenery and the chandeliers are amazing Amiri is one of the shops here right next to Jardine and this is the pathway towards the wind there's a view of the Encore pool and there's a patio for Jardine it leaks out to it and here it is one of the best indoor and outdoor nightclubs in all of Vegas XS we went here for Shaq's big Super Bowl party and that was a fun time I think it was his Shaq's fun house XS is definitely the border in my opinion to where the Encore ends and the wind begins this is the hallway this right here is the entrance to the Encore theater for the show Awakening and they reimagined it and I heard one of the leads is Filipina so if you want to check out the Awakening I actually really want to see this there's the QR code if you want some reservations it's a really great show <laughs> it's a really great show, it's a great show. <laughs> I know her personally oh too. you look familiar <laughs> how you doing, doing well, how you? <laughs> good thanks dude that was her that's crazy so I looked it up her name is Donna April and she's the lead of the awakening several days later a week later shout out to Donna for hooking it up with the tickets thank you Donna I'm excited I'm here with my sister I took my sister as my plus one tonight I know we're giving mom and dad the night off I'm really excited to check out awakening been wanting to see this for a while. So. Yeah, because you haven't seen it yet, right? No, I haven't seen Did it. Did you ever see La Rev when it was here before? I've seen La Rev. Okay, yeah. so. Years ago. I'm excited for you to see a wave from Let's go, sis. Let's do it. Before the show, I picked up the Wind Signature Singing Frog, which was amazing, very light and crisp. And it's been a while since I've been to this theater. Love the circle seating here. And everything about the show was amazing. Donna is the perfect lead for this. The costumes, the set design, the effects, the whole cast. Three thumbs up for sure. So you have Golden Goose over here and then Palm Angels walking back towards the Encore. Jardine is an amazing brunch spot. I put a 245 reservation in, but it's about an hour and a half early. Let's see if I can get in, but Jardine, great brunch. Just to note, there's a walk-in entrance here and uh, no bikini tops, so no, not straight from the pool. You gotta go and change a little bit and no strollers or luggage. This is the main dining area of Jardine and they have little palm trees here nice circular dining area and they also have the patio and right by the entrance beautiful flowers and roses and a nice little sidebar here while you wait for your seat here's a little look at the Jardine menu they have juices and smoothies appetizers soups and salads sandwiches burgers and entrees and eggs and griddle and they are open from 7 30 to 3 p.m. executive chef Jonathan Bowman it's a nice day out here in Vegas so I decided to take the patio seating here and they have tons of of patio seating it overlooks the excess pool and the encore pool here last time I came here I tried the Jardine eggs Benedict I think I'm gonna go with something else this time around and uh, just showed a little variety the Jardine eggs Benedict though was really good so let's see what I come up with but they have some pretty good stuff since it's a brunch I'm probably gonna get something brunchy lunchy although I've already had coffee this morning I need another afternoon one we got a long day ahead of us so they serve a la Colombe coffee six bucks I think it's bottomless too so we're gonna get caffeinated today on a Sunday afternoon. Oh man. It's mid 80s right now here in Vegas. Can't ask for better. I know a lot of people like drinking iced coffee, but I drink my coffee hot. So we went with the falafel pita. It's in a nice basket, basketed pita, and you have your fresh vegetables in here. Looks like there's uh, cilantro with different types of tomatoes, feta cheese, you got your tzatziki, and they even have mini Tabasco. 
I love these mini Tabascos because you can just use them all in one. Just a little pool fight that went on here before I sat down. A little people watching over here. Looks like someone got knocked out. All right, we're gonna get this Tabasco in with the tzatziki. Oh wow, dig into this falafel. Fresh and flavorful. Mm. I'm feeling this. The pita doesn't fall apart. The tzatziki is really good. It's got good flavor, not too yogurty. Mm. Love the small blocks of feta cheese on here. That is nice and tasty. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll tell you what, all the vegetables here are fresh and flavorful. No wonder why they call it Jardine. Great place to just lounge outside. Uh, this is the little patio on the side here, overlooking the pool. I wish I knew her name. I'm gonna look up her name. I'm not gonna lie, I'm walking over to the Wind Golf Club because I wanna see if I run into JT. We'll see. Oh, we're here at the Wind Golf Club. They have some amazing Wind Golf Club hats. Look at that, that's sick. Good stuff. So this is the Wind Golf Store, but then the entrance to the villas are over this way too. No sign of Justin Timberlake, but one of these days we're gonna meet my boy. That's my idol right there. That's a bucket list goal for sure. The hallways are a bit different here at the Encore. You got black carpeting with leaf designs, red cream designs. Couldn't stay at the Encore and not rock my wind hat that I got a couple of months back. I'm feeling it. We made it to the lobby bar. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Gonna have a nightcap, go to bed, and give you the room review in the morning and even check out the pool. You guys know that Anthony Bourdain was my idol. And here at the lobby bar, they have a drink called the Parts Unknown. And that was a drink I gravitated to. It's a gin sour. They have some orange flower-like design in here, but Anthony Bourdain was a big reason why I started this travel channel. So, Parts Unknown was this show on CNN, so cheers to him. Oh, that's good. It's nice and foamy at the top. Wow, that's got flavor. You're gonna wanna savor this. But the lobby bar is a great time to hang out. I would definitely recommend chilling here and just people watching. I'm not gonna chug this. We're gonna sip and savor. We're gonna call it a night, head upstairs. I'm gonna show you the room tour, show you the pool. Cheers, JK News. Shout out to Anthony Bourdain. Rest in peace, my friend. Cue SpongeBob. Tomorrow. Good morning, JK Shooters. I wanted to wake up around 7, but now it's around 8.50 and I still want to see the pool and get a little lift in, get hydrated down at the gym because they have comp waters over there and just enjoy the encore for a little bit longer. So we'll see if we can get a late checkout hopefully, but if not, I better start hustling because we only got 2 hours 10 minutes. Let's hit the gym. We made it over here to the spa level. Look at the colors over here. They even have a salon. Nice oval mirrors. We're ready to get our workout in here at the Encore. Over this way is the Spa and Fitness Center. And look at this. They even have this really nice uh, yoga studio in here. You got the mood lighting, even a pillow and nice yoga mats. Towels and waters provided. Here's the free weight section over here. They have the most treadmills I've seen here and a ton of machines and a few bikes. It's actually a really good gym. Their masters over here as well as the machines, but look at all the treadmills here. Also nice that they have these leg raise and dip machine right here. So they got their waters here, towels, and fresh headsets. Also bananas if you want. They even have a juice bar cafe here with the TB logo. This is right outside the gym. Look at this, nice and tranquil. So we got that pump in. I gotta bring the towel back. But uh, we're gonna go to the pool and get some sun rays and dip into the pool real quick. Got about a half hour workout in at the gym. So many treadmills, so many people out at nine o'clock in the morning. And the free weights area was cool. I like how they have the Encore logo on each of the weights over there. Tons of machines. Then they also have the Stairmasters and yoga areas. Waters everywhere and towels everywhere. That's what you expect from a luxury resort and the luxury resort here in Las Vegas. So that was awesome. Now I need to go to the pool and catch a little bit of rays. It is pool time. We're gonna check out the Encore pool. Nice landscaping over here. And then you can see Jardine in the distance. Let's get some sun. 
First things first, here's the main pool right when you enter, right by some villas. You get the main wind building in the backdrop here. You got some kids dipping in the pool. These cabanas are nice. Look at that. I do like that. If you come earlier in the morning, like around 8 or 9, you do have some shade. And a guy like me needs that shade. Even on the lawn here, you got your day beds. And Jardine is right here. That's where we ate yesterday. And this is very familiar because this is the excess pool and all the cabanas. And they have this roundabout area here where they have tons of day beds, beach chairs, and a center bar. I've gone to a night excess swim party here where it's just full of people partying and that's the inside of excess nightclub right there. And there's even blackjack right next to the bar here. I'll have to admit, I've played blackjack here in my clubbing days for sure. And it was $25, $50 a hand. It's almost about 90 degrees and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. So Vegas is starting to heat up for the summer, but I like how you get to use this pool that excess uses during the weekends. Last time I was here was for Shaq's Fun House. And uh, as long as there's shade, I'm gonna kick it by the pool. And I was able to extend my checkout to 1 p.m. Late checkout. Now I have another three hours just to relax here. Oh, you already know that the uh, Keurig machine is making an appearance. I did it in the bathroom here so that uh, we can get it nice and clean after. All right, JKationers, it is time for the ever so popular room tour review here at the Encore at Winlock. Las Vegas. So like I said, I booked the lowest rate I could find and in total with taxes and resort fees, it was 275 bucks. I looked at dates within the next three months and this was the cheapest I could find. This is a Sunday to a Monday stay and it is an amazing room. And I used the express check-in and I know a lot of people like falling in line, trying to get upgrades, better rooms and all that. But if that's not what you care about and you just wanna get in, to your room and just start hanging out all around this beautiful resort, I would definitely recommend the Express Checkout. You only need your ID and your credit card that you purchased the room with. And for 275 bucks, I was like, I am gonna make sure I enjoy this stay here at the Encore. And I haven't stayed here for years. And I actually like this building because it's newer than the Wynn and their rooms are a bit different. So let's see what they have to offer. First things first, you got your king bed here. It's very comfortable, don't get me wrong. But the air conditioning is all the way in the back corner. I had to turn it down a lot more because I was kind of warm when I was sleeping last night. Now they have the two regular sized long pillows here. I wish they had the four because these huge pillows they have as like the back of the bed, it's way too big. Like what are you gonna use that for to like rest your head on? Like I like to have my pillows smaller size. <laughs> these pillows are too gigantic and almost just act as the headboard or another headboard. So maybe change the big, huge pillows. One thing I do like about luxury resorts like the Encore is that you're able to use the iPad for everything. Room controls, television, entertainment, in-room dining, your amenities, it shows your folio. So make sure you charge everything to your room. So it's also linked to your player's card and you can accumulate points that way. And right now it shows 89 degrees. You can even turn on and off your privacy or clean your room. There's an alarm here. Newspaper, this week at Win. So there's so many things that you can do all in this iPad. And the charging dock is right on the bed stand. I like how they have these wooden desks that come out. If you wanna have some breakfast, you can eat over there. And then they also have an air drawer. You have a black and white phone with a huge white lamp. These are huge bed lamps right here. And then if you need to charge, you got two power outlets and two USB chargers. They actually come up from the desk itself. You basically get the same thing on the other bed stand, but I love that this whole wall is basically floor to ceiling mirror. A lot of reflections here, so it makes the room a lot bigger. And the TV, the Samsung is huge. The only thing is there's no other TV in the living room. So I think you can kind of swirl this around if you need to, but it's a good TV. And then you have all your dresser drawers over here as well. Let's see if I'm missing out on anything. Nope, you got about four dresser drawers over here. Now I like this pattern and backdrop. It's black and white. You have this really cool frame with a face on it. It's kind of creepy at night when you're dimming your lights, but this whole area is your snack bar and drink bar. Really cool ice looking lamp right here with your ice bucket, a leather ice bucket. And here they give you not plastic cups or paper cups. They give you the fine glass for your wine or for just water if you need. They do have a snack bar here with gummies, cheese crisps, cashews. You can also buy a charging kit, your intimacy kit, and your revival 
Live kit and they show all the prices on there. Let's take a look at what the prices are. Let's see. All right, the gummy butterflies are 13 bucks. That's pretty pricey. The chocolate covered almonds are about 16, but if you're staying here, I'm sure that you have deep pockets. Their beverage menu though. Let's see, mini bar menu. Let's take a look. Oh wow, one white claw. It's only 12 ounces, it's 12 bucks. Your intimacy kit's 49 bucks. Your phone charger is 52, and the rest and revive kit is 40. Pretty pricey, but people with deep pockets stay here, so it probably ain't a thing to them and just more of a convenience. But damn, I'm still trying to save. I also wish that they had a personal fridge, but I guess places like this don't want you bringing in food or your own drinks. They want you spending everything downstairs, so they do have a fridge, but don't take anything out because it's all weight censored. All right, moving on to the living room here. You have an L-shaped black couch with white trim, a nice oval leather footrest you can relax in, and it doesn't look like this thing swivels. I will try to swivel this TV, but you have a gold and white lamp here, another coffee table, and a Win magazine. Let's see if it turns the other way. Let's see if it swivels. Oh, it does! It is a swiveling TV. Okay, there you go, guys. So you can watch the TV here in the living room or in the bedroom. The work desk area is a nice black marble desk with gold trim and two seats. This one is just a static cream seat. I used this to sit down and eat last night. And then the other side actually has wheels and a swiveling cream chair. The air conditioning is right there as well. You got a nice black cream and circular design frame over here and it matches the circle lamp that you have here and it also has USB charging. The only thing is they don't have the USB-C charging ports here. It's just a regular stuff but they also have your Amazon Echo and this is your quick start guide and you can connect your iPhone or your Android to it and give Alexa directions like your lights. Oh wow, Alexa heard me. <laughs> Alexa lit up when I said that. But over here, you have another drawer and more desk space if you need to, if you're here for business. And then a little cubby hole, bigger lamp, and then they have this leather placemat here. And this is where I was using my laptop to do some work earlier today. And another telephone here and your win stationary. And I'll tell you what guys, Express check-in, I did get a lower floor and there's actually an advantage of being in the lower floors because I didn't have to ride the elevator up so high and you don't have to stop. And this view is great. You got the pool down here and excess. You have the wind building and then your sphere. This was actually a really nice view. Huge entryway, that's what I love about luxury hotels like the Win and the Encore. You got this huge floor to ceiling square mirror, a door to the conjoining room if you need it. Double locks of course, but I like the touchpad here that you can press privacy or if you need room service or if you wanna go turn on all the lights or turn the lights low or turn them all off, you can do that as well. All right, the closet area, they give you tons of hangers, about 10 of them, your iron and ironing board, luggage rack, three more drawers here, the safe is over here in the corner, and extra bed sheets and an extra pillow as well if you need it. Plenty of things here in the closet for your use. All right, we're now here in the palatial bathroom. You have dual sinks, a lit oval makeup mirror. You even got the stool you can sit down on. And I love all the necessities that they have here. A shower cap, cotton swabs. They even have shoe polish. They have a shoe buff. Ooh, we're gonna take this with us. Your tissue paper, uh, outlets over here. Like I said, they use nothing but fine glass here as well. Your soaps on both sides. And then this huge bathtub with Two beautiful designs of a woman caressing her leg and a girl hugging a tree with her butt sticking out. <laughs> Over in here, obviously, you still have your phone and your toilet with the toilet paper, your backup toilet paper and the on and off lights, and it's a private door too. But you also get your Win Las Vegas robes that are very comfy. We didn't get to use it on this trip. Trash can down here. But what's really cool is that you have a TV here and this is the remote control for it. And if you wanna take a bath, the bathtub isn't that big, but if you wanna take a bath, they got it right here as well. I also like the shower. The shower is nice and big. You have just a regular shower head and the handle right here. A little ledge to put all your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. 
a mini bench right here. Pretty darn solid for the cheapest room at Encore, if you ask me. Let me talk to you a little bit about the Win Rewards matching program that they have going on right now, but it's only for a limited time. So if you're watching this video way in the future, it might not even be happening anymore. But since I have Caesars Diamond, they were able to match me to win Platinum, which gives me a birthday dining credit. And I believe it's about 100 bucks or 150 bucks, which is not bad. So we're gonna have to come back here in December and try out one of these amazing restaurants. Now that's only for one sit down, one whole transaction. You can't just go from place to place and accrue up until you get to a $100 credit. So it's just one sit down for the $100 dining credit. You can use it at Jardine, use it at that sushi place down there or any other spots around the Encore or Win. Another thing that's great is the $100 spa credit that you can use. I didn't take advantage of it because we didn't have much time, but I do have that 100 bucks I can use up until the end of the year. So got plenty of time and what I did was I took this over to Fountain Blue and Fountain Blue is also doing tier matching for the rewards card and I was able to get the same types of perks over at Fountain Blue so we might have to come back to Fountain Blue and do another video but y'all know we always end up at the win. So in total I paid $275 plus tax and resort fees and that's probably the lowest you're gonna find unless you get up on your rewards card and maybe you get comp nights or even cheaper deals. I see that you get 30% off with friends and family deals, so that really helps. And if you get to the next level, which I think is black for win rewards, you get a casino host and you're probably gonna get free rooms, but that's for the big ballers, shock callers up in here. Encore was awesome. It's obviously not as big as the win and the win and Encore are basically connected. So you're practically staying at the win and Encore is just another tower, but it's beautiful. And it's one of my favorite places to stay. I actually probably prefer this over the win. It's newer and I just feel more relaxed relaxed in this area and I can easily walk to the win within five to seven minutes. I like how they use the excess pool for the Encore hotel guests and I was given a 1 p.m. late checkout which is awesome. 275 bucks for a luxurious stay here at the Encore uh, Sunday to Monday. That is not bad. I booked it through win rewards and I really did enjoy my time. So let's see if we return and can cover uh, higher class rooms here at the Encore or the Win. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Comment down below what other luxury hotels you wanna see me do. I have not done the Palazzo yet. So that's coming up in the really near future. So stay tuned for Palazzo, the Waldorf I haven't done yet, or the Four Seasons. So we gotta finish those. And the Delano too, I haven't done that as well. So stay tuned, check out Las Vegas 777. Let's go on my Facebook page. We have 4,300 Las Vegas enthusiasts talking about the news and ongoings around town. And it's just a great, fun community. Shout out to the Jaycation Nation. And we will see you guys around Sin City. And in the words of me, stay traveling, Las Vegas. Let's go.